I don't think that the people of this region want to be just like us. Uh, they want to be informed by their experiences with our culture and our traditions uh, and our technology and our education and all the rest. Vast numbers, as you know, of uh, students from the region uh, come to the United States or are educated. By the way, it's something that I think we must very much promote. We're all very concerned in the wake of 9-11 uh, and then in the wake more recently of the uh, Abdullah Talib attempted, you know, Detroit would be bomber. Uh, that uh, the process of getting to our country for education becomes so difficult that they go somewhere else. I think it's hugely important that we try to uh, ensure access uh, of those from other countries uh, to our education and to our, our country. In fact, I'm on record as having said that every time we slap sanctions on some country, economic sanctions or whatever in a country, we should double the number of student visas uh, that go along with it as well. because. What can happen is what happened, frankly, in, the Phil in, in, in uh, Pakistan, where, you know, they remember the period of, I think, 12 years, roughly, when because of the Pressler Amendment, and I understand the reasons for that amendment, uh, but what the effect was that for 12 years, for more than a generation of Pakistani military officers and also uh, civilians, access to uh, our educational opportunities was cut off. International military education training was completely cut off. So the... The, the shared experience that we have right now with a number of the senior members of the Pakistani military, uh, for example, General Kiani, the Army Chief, was a Command and General Staff College graduate the year after I was, I think it was. Uh, and many of them had access. But then right after that, it falls off until you get to the younger generation. We're obviously trying to make up for that, trying to create opportunities where substantial numbers can at least have short-term experiences here uh, so that they can have some sense of, you know, of our culture and traditions and where we come from intellectually and, and so forth. Uh, and our, our view of the world, not trying to say that it's the right view of the world, and certainly not perhaps for them, but it is, again, our view, and it can help them as they're dealing with us.